All right, excellent. We've come a long way. Now that we know so much about capital budgeting techniques, it's time for a practical exercise. Together, we'll build a complete capital budgeting model from scratch. Sounds good, doesn't it? Nowadays, companies try to maximize their value by investing in the best possible projects, which makes business and financial sense. To be able to compare different projects financially, firms need models precisely like the one we'll build here. So this is a valuable exercise. We'll consider a situation in which an auto producer company in Italy tries to assess whether it would make financial sense to move some of its production to Vietnam. Lower cost of personnel, land, taxes, and raw materials are some of the main reasons the company expects to improve its cash flows if it moves to Vietnam. However, several board members are not necessarily convinced. Therefore, they have requested a formal financial assessment, the capital budgeting exercise we'll build including worst, base, and best-case scenarios, so they can have a sense of the possible risks the company will face if things don't go well. In addition, for greater precision, you are asked to build a 10-year model. The main source of income the company would expect to generate from this endeavor is savings derived from the cheaper production of automobiles, right? We'll compare the end price of one car produced in Italy and the end price of one car produced in Vietnam. The difference between the two gives us the actual savings per car. Our operations and controllership teams have done the heavy lifting, estimating the costs per car. It is our task to model the rest and come up with a conclusion that tells us whether the project generates or destroys value. Right. We've worked hard to prepare an exercise that is a real case study and comes as close as the ones carried out in practice by large corporations when deciding on an investment opportunity. In addition, as with most financial models, throughout our solution, we've made a few hypotheses and assumptions. Every time this happens, we'll provide an explanation and elaborate on the type of assumption we've made. Okay, perfect. Starting from our next lesson, we'll dig deeper into the exercise.